I'm Rachel Kaplan. I'm a fourth year anatomic and clinical pathology resident, and I'd like to tell you about what it's like to be a resident here at Wall Cornell. Every day before work, I walk my dog, or as you may see, she walks me. Our day usually starts with a morning lecture that is given by one of the faculty members in either anatomic or clinical pathology, and it's attended by all the residents. After lecture, we attend a subspecialized sign out. Uh, which uh, is when the resident sits with the faculty member and it's uh, organized by organ system. I'm here with Dr. Hoda and my fellow residents and we are looking at a case of primary hyperparathyroidism. We're looking at a hypercellular parathyroid and you can even see it up on the screen. In the gross room is where we receive our specimens from the operating room and since this is a large academic institution at New York, um, we not only receive a high volume of specimens, but a tremendous amount of very interesting cases. Hi, we're in the frozen section and gross room area. Um, this is also the area where we do something we call floating specimens, in which, uh, like Kate's doing here, we measure, uh, weigh, describe them, and then place them in formalin. And often, if we do have problematic specimens, we do show them to our attendees. Later in the day, we preview our slides, and the advantage to previewing is that you get the time to read about your cases, treat them as your own, commit to a diagnosis, write it down on paper, and prepare for sign out the next morning. I'm so happy here as a resident at Wild Cornell, not only because it's in New York City, one of the greatest cities in the world, but because I have some of the greatest co-residents, um, a group of people that I really get along with and count as friends and exceptional teachers who have been mentors to me and have really prepared me for a career in pathology.